Rafael Nadal was born in Manacor, Mallorca in 1986 and Rafa called by his fans, a tennis player who became famous in the 2000s and excelled on clay. Nadal was raised in a sports family since his uncle played professional football. Rafael began playing tennis at age 4 with his uncle, Tony Nadal, who currently coaches him. Nadal won the provincial under-12 tennis championship at the age of 8. Nadal wrote with his right hand and played tennis with his left. When he was 12, his uncle persuaded him to play left-handed. Nadal continued to utilize his two-handed backhand, but switched to his signature one-handed forehand. Nadal beat Ramon Delgado in his maiden ATP match on April 29, 2002 in London, England. He was the 8th player in the Open era to achieve it before age 16. After 3 consecutive tournaments and 16 straight games, Nadal became number 2 on July 25, 2005. Nadal's Wimbledon ended in 2009 because of a knee injury. Nadal won his first 5 2009 Australian Open matches without dropping a set, and he beat Fernando Verdasco in the second longest match in Australian Open history which lasted for 5 hours and 14 minutes. Rafael Nadal eclipsed Bjorn Borg's record of 28 consecutive wins by beating Leiden Hewitt in the French Open's third round. Rafa lost the French Open in 2015. On May 26, he defeated Facundo Bagnes in straight sets to win 200 Grand Slam matches. The timeline below demonstrates how Rafael Nadal, who played during men's tennis's best era, out-earned Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. Federer joined the Grand Slam club with his 2003 Wimbledon victory against Mark Philippoussis. 2004, Rafa dominated Australian Open, Wimbledon, and US Open. Nadal won the French Open in 2005 as Federer defended Wimbledon and the US Open. Federer won three major championships in 2006, including Wimbledon, while Nadal won the French Open twice. Federer, who appeared unstoppable, repeated his 2006 feat in 2007, but Nadal beat him in the French Open final again. In 2008, Djokovic beat Joe Wilfried Tonga to win his first major. Federer won the US Open after Nadal won Wimbledon and the French Open. Nadal beat Federer in five sets to win the 2009 Australian Open. During Roland Garros, Nadal's 31-match winning run ended as Federer won his lone French championship. He won 15 majors, shattering Pete Sampras's record. 2010 saw Federer win his fourth Australian Open. Nadal's most remarkable season was when he won the following three majors. He beat Djokovic to win his career Grand Slam. After Djokovic won 10 victories in 2011, including three majors, the Big Two became the Big Three. Nadal won the French Open, his 10th major title overall. 2012 saw Djokovic beat Nadal to win his third Australian Open championship. Nadal continued his unstoppable streak at Roland Garros, while Federer won his 17th major at Wimbledon. Djokovic defeated Andy Murray to win the Australian Open for the third time. After successfully defending his French Open and US Open championships, Nadal ended the year as the best player, while Federer was out with a back ailment. As Nadal equaled Sampras's record of 14 major championships in 2014, Federer was unable to add to his Grand Slam total. Federer, the Wimbledon winner, fell short against Djokovic. In 2015, Djokovic triumphed in the US Open, Wimbledon, and Australian Open. In the French Open, he defeated Rafael Nadal before falling to Stan Wawrinka in the championship match. In 2016, Djokovic won the French Open for the first time and the Australian Open to complete the Noel Slam. Federer and Nadal both sustained injuries and failed to capture a Grand Slam. With his record-breaking 10th Roland Garris victory, Nadal established himself as the greatest clay court player in history. Before Nadal won his third US Open, Federer won eight Wimbledon championships. Djokovic's elbow injury caused him to miss half of the year. With his third victory in New York, Djokovic moved into third place behind Federer and Nadal and equaled the record of 14 major titles held by Pete Sampras. Following Federer's victory at the French Open and the US Open, Nadal is within one of his 2019 totals. With victories against Federer and Nadal in straight sets, Djokovic won his eighth Australian Open and third consecutive major. When Nadal defeated Djokovic 6-love, 6-2, 7-5 in the Roland Garros final in 2020, 
he matched Federer's record of 20 men's major victories. Djokovic won the Australian Open again that year. After winning his eighth Australian Open, defeating Nadal in the French Open quarterfinal, and defeating Matteo Berrettini in the Wimbledon final, Djokovic seemed poised to dethrone Federer and Nadal in 2021. Nadal remarked in 2022 that he was glad to participate in Melbourne after fretting about his foot injury. With Federer ailing and Djokovic banished, the Spaniard won the Australian Open for the first time since 2009. Nadal beat Rude to win his 14th French Open and 22nd Grand Slam title. Rafa has never been in a relationship scandal. He has one girlfriend who is now his wife. Rafael has never dated anyone before Maria Francesco Perello. Maria was his first and last commitment. The insurance workers seldom went to finals with their sweetheart. After meeting Rafael, Maria abandoned the insurance sector and now runs the Nadal Foundation's charities. The world changed in 2019 when they engaged. A wedding placed on October 19 in Poyenza, Mallorca. All of the tennis players' fans are eagerly awaiting the excellent news. Rafa's a terrific player, but also superstitious. Rafa always steps right foot first. He arranges his chairs and stands next to them as he sits. He keeps two water bottles. One is refrigerated and the other is room temperature. He drinks from both bottles at once. He arranges both water bottles diagonally with labels facing the court. He jumps at the coin toss. He avoids stepping over the court's lines. He never swaps sides first. He follows the opponent first. He always bites his trophies. Rafa has not been enjoying himself despite giving his everything on the court. Aside from his abdominal injuries, he's experienced other obstacles, including his wife's health. Nadal's latest dismal statement shook us all despite his busy season. Nadal lost in the semifinals against local favorite Francis Tiafo. The 22-time Grand Slam champion said he'll take time off to relax and see his hospitalized expectant wife. Rafa's final few months were difficult, and he's considering retirement. Rafa will likely become more engaged with the Rafael Nadal Academy after retirement. Comment on Rafa's retirement pick. Also, if you want to watch Roger Federer's video, please subscribe and press that bell icon.